good day of Shabbos and a good Chodesh, good day of Chodesh. Don't forget this extra special kugel or special item that one should make for and when time the Shabbos Rosh Chodesh. And this is the Shabbos of Rosh Chodesh of Rosh Chodesh because this Shabbos is Rosh HaChodeshim, Rosh Chodesh Nisan. Api Kabbalah, it's the order, the order of all the other other months coming from Rosh Chodesh Nisan is affected by this month. That's why this month, the Sidur Rosh Shabbos writes, it's a Yud Kevavke, the letters. Each month has the order of letters of the Hashem's name. This one is exactly in order. Why? Because this month is a month of Midas Arachnu. So forget about the fact that there's no Tachnu, that's already something by Shul is already a standard. But it's a Yantav, starting from Shchodesh Nisan, because that's when they had the Chanukah Samishkan. And each day one of the Nisim brought a Korban. So we're going to speak about that fact next week. But to realize how powerful this Shabbos is, with the three Sifat Torah and all the Ashpas that are going to come this, this, this Shabbos. But I want to add, someone called me, a good friend of mine, Abzev, and he asked me for a Dvar Torah about marriage. So I connected Shabbos. I said, you want to see the connection between this Parsha and Shabbos? So I happened to be learning the Zohar HaKadosh in the Chuyk. And the Zohar HaKadosh tells us that, an, that a person that's not married should not bring a Korban to the base of English. What? The Shaykh is supposed to come out. Someone doesn't have the, that man can't come to the base of Mishra and bring a Korban? What does that mean? So the Zohar HaKadosh, I think, is understood when we understand what the idea of a Korban is. Of course, everyone has to do tshuva, and everyone has the opportunity to tshuva, and Hashem wants us to do tshuva. In fact, the beginning of Vayikah starts, Vayikah El Hashem Sarashi says, Loshon Chiba. The most amazing language that we could hear is that the first thing you have to know when you're starting Sefer Vayikah, and the kids, when they learn Vayikah, like my son, they're taught that this is the, the purest of the pure. You start with Vayikah for Kindalach. You know why? Because a person has to know before thinking, is, should I do tshuva, should I not do tshuva? Hashem doesn't really care. Is he really, how many times have I done this mistake already? A person has no Vayikah. Hashem is calling out to everyone in Lash Lechi because He loves us and He wants us always to come back. That's the first thing we need to know. But number two, getting back to marriage and the Beis Hamikdash, and the answer is very simple. The Beis Hamikdash is a place a source of incredible blessing. When we had the Beis HaMikdash, it was incredible until we unfortunately we ruined it. The Beis HaMikdash was a source of blessing. The Beis HaMikdash came because we had the Shekhinah with us. Ha- someone that sinned, someone that made a mistake, the idea was that he's disconnected. Tome means that now I'm having an obstruction. There's some, it's like when a person has some, something in the pipelines. The pipelines are not, the spiritual pipelines are clogged. So you come to the base of Mishra and you unclog yourself. And then what happens? You reconnect it. And then the blessings come back. When a person gets married, I told this person, we all know it takes work. Zivche Elohim Ruach Nishbara. The Iker says about the Baal about the Korbanas was, is that I'm working on my heart. That I'm willing to give. I'm willing to give in. I'm willing to work in myself. And marriage is the ultimate place where a person is willing to, working on themselves. And if you're not married, you can still work on yourself, of course. But the challenge is when you're married. Mimele, that's the idea. Parshas Vayikra ties right away with Adam Kiyakim Mikrem. Says the Rama, based on the Gemara Meseches Yavamais, a person is not called an Adam. You're not called a man until you're married. Why? Because that's the opportunity, the biggest opportunity perhaps, where a person could work on becoming a man, becoming an Adam. And if we're not married, then a person has to find different ways to make sure that they are an Adam. Whether it's with a boss, whether it's with a child, whether it's with an ex, whether it's with if someone in shul that they don't like, where we work on ourselves, that's where we build the base of English inside of us. That's an amazing Shabbos and a good Chodesh.